So it's time to build a woodshed. Now I want to build a woodshed that works for me. Something that lets the air flow during the summertime and seals up in the wintertime, seals up as tight as possible. Now not too far from the house, about six, eight feet from the house, the holes that I've dug to put the posts in, they're about three, four feet from me. I've got the six by six posts up by the shop, but everything I build is out of pine because well, I get it from my property. Get it for free, I put it on my mill, mill out what I need, and I build stuff out of it. So before we can put those six by sixes in the ground, we need to treat them. The way I treat them is I burn the crap out of them and I coat them in oil. Then when I stick them in the ground, they're rot resistant, bug resistant, and mold and mildew resistant. So let's go ahead and get up by the shop, get those six by six posts treated, and get them down here and start building. Well, first things first, we'll add a little water to the ground to keep these pine needles from catching on fire. Since the burn ban's in effect, I can't start a campfire. The fastest way I have to burn these boards is with a propane weed burner. This is the middle of winter, I start a campfire, put the end of the board in, kind of roll around, get it nice and charred. But this weed burner will do the trick. You just gotta make sure and get all the sides. Charred up real good, and then put out any fires. Put a thick coat of oil on them, whatever you feel like using, linseed oil, used motor oil. I'm not here to judge you. Whatever you feel like using, use it. Keep in mind, I'm building this alone. So I'm using boards cut to length as tip measures and placeholders. The way I build a pole barn, put the post in the ground about two feet, and backfill with just enough dirt and rock to hold the post in place. Get it as close to plumb as possible and move on to the next. I want these posts to be exactly eight foot apart on the outside of the post, so I've cut boards exactly eight foot long. I use it to hold the base of the post where they need to be. Now plumb the second post up at the correct distance from the first post and backfill just enough to hold it up. I put an 8 foot board at the top to hold the top of the post in place. Backfill a little more. The backfill will hold the bottom of the post where they need to be. I do have a board cut to length of the diagonal so I can make sure the posts are square. Double check all the diagonals one more time and finish up backfilling the holes. Lucky for me, my backhoe makes short work of this. I also brought in some gravel for the floor of my woodshed to keep my firewood off the dirt. Now I'm measuring up the 8 foot line on this side and I'm using a string and a line level to make sure all the posts get marked at the same level line. The back posts are measured at the 6 foot line, same thing with the string line and the line level, makes life easy. Make sure and transfer the marks to all sides of the post and cut the tops off.
Now the back wall is shorter than the front to make the slope of the roof. Now since I like to stack things whenever possible, I'm cutting a notch so that I can put my 2x6 inside this notch and it'll actually sit on the post instead of just being held up by screws. This is an 8 foot span so a 2x6 should work just fine. I cut the rafters to fit and I put three screws in each end. If you don't think this is strong enough, they always sell brackets you can put on there to help hold these in place. I milled out purlins three quarter inch by four inch for the sides and the roof. Level up the first purlin and use a pre-cut spacer to make sure all the spacing and all the purlins is the same. If you look closely, you can see a strap going between two diagonal posts. This is holding the roof perfectly square while I attach the metal. Brush off the mill with 3 quarter inch by 6 inch wide blue pine boards. Plumb up the first board and screw it into place. I put two screws through each board into each purlin, keeping the screws close to the one-third distance from the edge of the board. This is going to allow that board to expand and contract with the weather without splitting. Since blue pine is somewhat dry when I mill it, I use a quarter inch spacer between the boards. A standard construction pencil is a quarter inch thick. It's a perfect measurement device. If left untreated and unstained, these boards will expand and contract throughout the year. Shrinking in the warmer months and letting the air circulate through the woodshed to help dry out firewood and expanding in the colder, wetter months to help keep the weather out of the woodshed and off your firewood. If you place a temporary board up top, it makes it easy to install the boards on the side of your woodshed straight and level. Final product doesn't look too bad. If you think this video is helpful, hit that like button for me. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.